Hello, welcome. In this video, let us look at the plotting of a chirp signal. A chirp signal. In this video, we will look at a typical example of a chirp signal. Uh, for example, y of t is equal to a times cos of omega c t plus s of t. So that is the model for chirp signal. So in this uh, specific example, we assume that a is equal to 1, omega c is equal to 2 and s of t has a structure t squared by 4. So now we want to generate and plot this signal in MATLAB. So the first step is to uh, construct a time vector t which will be uh, 0 to 40 seconds. And that's So the time vector is from 0 to 40 seconds with the sampling interval equal to 0 0.05 or the uh, time interval equal to 0 0.05. Now we can this is the MATLAB code. So the first line is uh, we create this time vector and then we have and the second step is we create the constants a is equal to 1 and omega c equal to 2 constants and then we create the uh, s of t function which is uh, equal to t dot cap 2 so that is t squared by 4 that is the modulation the frequency modulation and then we create the function itself y underscore t equal to a multiplied by cos of omega t or omega c t so in terms of matlab omega c multiplied by t plus so that is the signal itself so thus we generate the signal y of t now let us look at the matlab code so we have the corresponding code time vector t uh, the amplitude a frequency omega uh, the modulation s of t the phase modulation or frequency modulation s of t so y of t is a times cos of omega t plus s underscore t that means y of t is our chirp signal and then we use the plot function to display this chirp signal so this is the chirp signal we can clearly see that as time goes by the frequency uh, increases that is frequency of the signal increases so to summarize in this short video we have looked at the plotting of a chirp signal that is uh, specifically we assume the model y of t equal to a times cos of omega c t plus s of t a is the amplitude omega is the frequency s of t is the modulation or phase modulation or frequency modulation so in the, for general for writing the matlab code first we create the time vector with values from 0 to 40 seconds and with the time interval equal to 0 0.05 a is equal to 1 that is constant so we define the constants a equal to 1 omega c equal to 2 and the uh, modulation s t is equal to t dot cap 2 divided by 4 that is we create the t square by 4 and then we define the function y of t is equal to a times cos of omega c t plus s of t so we get the uh, we generate the signal that is in matlab we generate the signal y of t a equal to a times cos of omega t plus s of t and then we use uh, then we plot the signal with respect to time and we'll look at the frequency variation so this is the output so uh, we can clearly see that the initially the frequency is lower and gradually it is increasing so this is basically a simple example of a chirp signal thus we have used matlab to uh, generate and plot a chirp signal thanks for watching